Hats off to Ed Skrine. You are such a classy guy and I respect you so much. I really respect what you have done. I feel like this entire week, all of that conversation just proves that whitewashing can be stopped and Hollywood can definitely change. It really took one actor taking a stand publicly after booking a role that I'm sure he loved and was super excited to play, but realizing that, hey, this is a chance to do the right thing because representation matters. And I just can't say enough how awesome that is because I'm sure it was a really tough decision to make, especially because it's a great opportunity, you know, it's a really cool character, it's a great film to be a part of, but at the same time, once he realized that this role had been whitewashed, I love the choice that he made and really respect the statement that he gave. And so, yeah, that is exciting. It's so refreshing to read something nice on the internet for once because I feel like that doesn't happen much these days anymore. But yeah, I feel like whitewashing and representation in media has just been a really big topic the last few years. And unfortunately, it hasn't gotten better. I feel like sometimes it's just getting worse. I mean, just this week I was telling my agent that no, I'm not going to do this role because I can't pass for Southeast Asian. And literally the day before was another role involving an accent. And I feel like I'm always having these conversations about not wanting to do roles that I'm not the right fit for, the right representation, or you know, doing roles with accents, or being the butt of the joke. I feel like I shouldn't have to keep having these conversations 10 years into my career, but it happens and it continues to happen because I feel like there is still such a big gap between understanding the different types of Asians and the difference from Asians and Asian Americans and just all of that because there's a lack of representation. And so when there is a leading role in these adaptations, although I know the argument of it could be white, it could be black, it could be, yes, you're right, it could be casted as anything, but when there just aren't a lot of opportunities to begin with, it's like you're just taking away that one thing. It's really important that it is represented accurately. And so just hats off to Ed. I think you have really taken a big step for representation in Hollywood and I think it's very brave. I also think it's gonna be really great for his career. I feel like this is probably the best PR move that he could have ever done and who cares if it was just for PR? It was smart. I mean, I'm surprised the studio didn't do it, but hey, it's kind of exciting to see an actor take a stand and actually have power because up until now I've always felt that actors had so little power and a lot of times I feel like Asian American actors are always sort of fighting these battles quietly because you just don't really know about it. I mean, you don't know that we're saying no to a lot of opportunities or a lot of roles even though, well not a lot, a lot, that's, that's not accurate. We're saying no to the very few opportunities we have because they're ultimately racist or not a very good representation and it sucks because at the end of the day, I still need a job. We need a job. I feel like this is the same conversation I have with my Asian American actor friends all the time, which is it really sucks when sometimes these are our only options, slim pickings, and then you gotta say no. I know for myself, I've definitely turned down opportunities that I needed because I needed a job, but I knew I wasn't right for. I've talked about this before in panels, but there was a movie where I was supposed to play a girl from China who spoke Mandarin, and they were only gonna give me, I believe, two months of dialect coaching, and I didn't think that was enough, and I didn't think that I would be able to pass, and so I said no, because I think there are definitely other actors out there who are far more qualified for it and going to do a better job of representing the role. It sucks, it happens, but hopefully it will get better and this will just encourage people to write in more people of color characters and minority roles, not just accent pieces and stories. I mean, life is so much more interesting when it's colorful and diverse stories do matter. And I really feel like it is time for Hollywood to change that, and I'm so sick of whitewashing. I really am. This is a really huge step. I'm super, super excited. If you guys didn't read his statement, I totally think you should. I'll share it right here, here, somewhere here, because I think it's really great and honorable, and I'm excited. I hope to see more actors taking stands and just doing the right thing. Ed stepping down from this role, it gives a lot of pressure to the studio to do the right thing because now it's 
public and people know about it. And so, I don't know. I hope they do the right thing. We'll, I guess, have to wait and see. It would be quite a disappointment if after all this, they sort of went right back to square one. But yeah, this could be an exciting opportunity for an Asian American actor to get a chance to star in a Hollywood film and hopefully make a great career out of it. And so this is a really good first step. It's not everything, but it's a really, really great first step. And so, yeah, very exciting. And I think that's it. Um, I don't know, I will talk to you guys later.